Gearheart, I'm really curious to hear your thoughts. If you're out there somewhere, wherever you are, or if you're Gearheart's next of kin, or <laughs> Gearheart, if this is your game, leave a YouTube comment. We want to take you to breakfast. We definitely want... We're not paying your travel. We don't really mean that, actually. I'll buy you pancakes. I will buy you pancakes. Hey, everybody. Felicia Day here. I am uh, at Comic-Con at the awesome Geek and Sundry Lounge, and there are approximately 120,000 people here this weekend, but there's only one Gearheart. Hey, Gearheart. So this is the legit, honest owner of the GoldenEye cartridge that we, me and my brother, played on Coatitude. Can you tell me the history of this, uh, this anointed cartridge? Well, uh, way back when, my father bought it at Target and played through it, beat the whole thing, as you can see. Wow, Gearheart had everything unlocked. Wow, look at this. This kid was a pro. And then somehow it ended up with you. I guess it, it came to us through one of the people who works at Geek and Sundry, Nick, and that's how we can verify the provenance of this cartridge. So basically, Nick stole your cartridge and then gave it to us under mysterious circumstances. Talk about your history with that particular cartridge, piece of plastic. I was very proud. I went through in middle school, got all the cheats, unlocked nearly everything. I was the toast of the school. Were you able to watch the Co-Optitude episode that we I played? Did. I did. Dude, I don't know what you're doing right now. Please kill these men. No, you've got to you use the- You've got to use the buttons here. What were your impressions of how we played the game? Were they similar to your glory, your middle school glory? Were they similar level of effort? Could use some work, but I'd give it three out of four gear hearts. Got his own rating system. That's interesting. There was a gear heart on the, on the comments claiming to be the Gerhardt of the cartridge. Looks kind of similar to you, actually. I think you could be brothers. Maybe it's the name. We, we're we both Gerhardts. I don't know him, but more power to him. Uh, I love all Gerhardts. Do you think that you could take that other Gerhardt on in, in, a, in a GoldenEye duel? Who do you think would win that Gerhardt off? Ooh, he might have three hands, but uh, I do not. Why would you think that alt Gerhardt is a mutant? Uh... I don't know, your brother seemed to think so. Wait, how am I supposed to have three hands here? <laughs> no, look, am I straight from here? Gearheart had three hands. <laughs> That's how he- Oh, sh When you were dueling, what was your favorite weapon of choice? Ooh, the Clob. Yes, it was the worst weapon in the game, and if you could kill someone with it, you were a baller. Got you a gift. What? It's off, awkward and weird. I've gotten you the only game I have never beaten. Marble Madness for the NES. What? And I have signed it for you, Gearheart. Okay, true story. This is the first computer game that I ever played on the Amiga. This was on the demo Amiga machine at the Keesler Air Force Base demo area where my mom finally bought us our own computer and Marble Madness was the game that we played. Now, how far did you get in Marble Madness? I kicked the shit out of Marble Magnus. No way. No way. I Are you challenging me, Gerhard? I am challenging you. All right, you heard it here next time on Co-Aptitude. Or not next time, but one time in the future on Co-Aptitude. This will be played. Hand engraved by Gerhard. There is no way you beat Marble Madness. Well, not with the, this crap-ass controller, but with the keyboard, I was a, mar I was a marble champion. Okay, Gerhardt, well, thank you for the gift. Thank you for your attendance here at the Geek and Sundry Lounge. I do uh, want to make good on the promise that I did in the video. I'll buy you pancakes. I will buy you pancakes. Oh, I do want to have pancakes with you. Oh. However, I actually have to go somewhere, so... Here you go. Uh, thank you, have fun at the con. Uh, Thanks, Geek and Sundry. Your heart out.